Hello guys, uh, today uh, I'm going to show you how to create a date calculator in Windows um, Universal App Development and uh, you can see uh, I have already opened a calculator. This is a standard calculator and if you click on the menu and you can select date calculation from there and you can see this is the date calculator. So it's quite a uh, useful thing so that uh, we can uh, create a, a, an app like this uh, that can show a uh, difference between two days so let's say uh, I show you uh, if I select the from date is uh, 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 it's today's date and uh, I select this one one week 28th of May and you can see it's showing me seven days and one week difference. So I'm going to create an app similar to this one. So let's start this. First of all, we need to create a new project. This is just a blank app and uh, I name it as date. Calculator and then I save it. Um, and it takes some time to load, and then we can start. Okay, so here we can open our main page for this app we need a uh, date picker, two date pickers. One is for, one for from date and second date picker for two dates. And then we, we will need one text box for, for the difference. Today I'm sure, I, I will show you only the uh, number of days. And in the next video, I will show you the difference in weeks, days, um, weeks and years just like if I select a some date that like a big day difference you can see it shows nine months three weeks and three days so today's videos I just show you uh, how to calculate number of days the next video I will show you this one as well so let's start so from the toolbox you need to select a date picker so let's say I click date picker and I put date picker on my main page and then I name this date picker as date picker DTP uh, from. Now I add another date picker and I name it DTP and okay so for the result I will add a text box and I name this text box text result okay so here are three simple controls and as we have named these controls we can easily use these names in our code and before going to code we add a button and the, um, on the press of that button the date will be calculated so let's say we name this button as Uh, btn calculate and the content of this button would be calculate okay so if we double click on this button it will take me to the code and here I can 
do my calculations. I, I will need to subtract it uh, dt and dot dt dot subtract and I will subtract dt from dot dt. After subtracting this, I will get the total number of days. Dot date. And then I subtract. I, I will get total days. I will save that in a variable and call it as days. One I have a number of days. These number of days, let, let's say I store this in txt result dot text. And I showed days. So here it shows me error. So it's a kind of convert type double to string. So I need to convert that into the string to string and let's see run this app and see what the result would be when we run this app we can see from date to date and calculate button and then we see the text box so when we press on like i select a date and then i press on calculate so you can see it is showing me time span basically it's showing me number of days with the decimal values so I need to remove these decimal values for this purpose I need to use a function that is called math.round math.round and that will remove all extra decimal spaces I don't need any extra decimal spaces from zero and then I convert that into string and I also add a text into this and like days so I will you will see that this number is actually a number of days so now you can see it is showing me four days if I select like let's, let's say next year and calculate it is showing 369 days so this is very simple app i i try to make it as simple as possible uh, today in the next video i will show you uh, how to calculate uh, years months weeks and show them just like here please Subscribe to my channel and I'll keep on posting new videos. Thank you very much.